All right, everyone. Today I'm going to go over how to fix up models from photogrammetry from uh, from programs like uh, Clone, Polycam, others. In this case, I'm using the beta release of Luma AI, which does a great, fantastic job. I'm going to show you how you can clean up the model to get this result here versus this result here, how to get rid of the elements, okay? So nine times out of 10 within WorldCast, you can get rid of elements like this. I'm just going to bring this other model over just for illustrative purposes. I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to go edit model. And inside, our, inside the WorldCast platform, we can, uh, if the model is structured properly with the hierarchy, we can just select elements and get rid of them, right? So in this case, say well, I just want the fireplace. I just quickly get rid of elements just by selecting them and, and quickly deleting, right? Or I go over here and then select them all and delete them. Or I can manually just visually get rid of elements just by doing this. Okay. So I even get rid of this little thing here. I can even get down to granular and get rid of these uh, logs if I want to. And all I have to do is just go file, uh, save the studio and close. And it's just going to spit out just the fireplace with what I left, right? Now I'm going to open up the photogrammetry scan here in a minute. See, there we go. So we don't need that any longer. I'm just going to get rid of it. So I'm going to open up this one the exact same way. And this is a little bit differently uh, done different. So when it was done with the scanning, it doesn't have the hierarchy or proper structure. So some elements and meshes are bound together. Uh, so check this out. If I want to get rid of this, this plane here, it's attached to a lot of other elements. Okay. So if I just hit delete, like I was in the other one, see how it grabs other elements. Now that's not ideal, right? Just do that again. So that, that's obviously not going to work. So I'm just going to close that. And we're going to show you how you can get this result here. So if you open up Blender, so this is the default state of Blender. So right off the bat, just grab all the elements, the light, the cube, and all the elements on the screen, just delete, and simply go File, Import, GLTF, and grab the file that you exported from your uh, program of choice. In this case, I used Luma AI Beta Edition. So I'm just going to bring in this GLB, and once it comes in, Here's, here's don't don't touch anything else. Just leave it as is. Don't worry about the texture or anything. Okay. So if you're not familiar with Blender, you can use if the quickest way is you can go up here and just move around your viewport up in the top right corner. So in this case, I'm just going to line up horizontal like this. I'm going to come over to the left hand side where it says object mode. I'm going to drop down and pick edit mode. Select that. Okay. <clears throat> Once it goes in edit mode, it'll highlight the entire scene for you. So you don't have to worry about that. It does that off the bat the first time you do that. I'm going to come over to my tool, tool tool panel and if it's not showing it might it might be underneath knife but you'll just hold it and you'll go to bisect. And once you have bisect sect selected all you have to do is we're going to draw a line straight across here. Now, let me just do this. So I'm going to start here. So I'm just going to draw a line straight across like that. I'm going to let go. It's going to put a line there. Perfect. And I'm simply going to go, I'm going to let, when it comes up here, just give it a second, it's processing. Hi, I'm quickly just popping this video in here as I noticed my video was overlaying where I was talking about the bisect. So I just want to do a quick little mini tutorial inside the tutorial. So when I'm talking about the bisect, uh, bisect once you have it across, what, what my uh, video is hiding is there's this little option down here that says bisect. What you do is open it up and here's where you have your options for the uh, clear inner and clear outer, which I'm talking about. So in this case, when I go clear inner, it will get rid of the objects, uh, uh, the bisect. And this is the this is the dialog that my uh, camera was hiding. So whenever I mention that, this is the dialog that you need to use. And I'm simply going to go clear inner. So once we have that, let's just rotate it around. Right, we see there's elements left, right? So Sometimes you just find the most efficient way to cut down between the middle to make the last work. Now, this is the best way. I know how to do this quick and easy. Uh, I'm sure there's other ways, but this is the best way I found to do it quick and easy for uh, the majority of things. So again, I'm, I'm, so I'm going to just hit the A on the keyboard, which is going to select the entire scene again. I'm going to leave my bisect tool on. I'm going to draw another line. We'll start up higher. I'm going to go straight down between these. And we're going to go clear outer. I could have done that a little bit better, but well, let's do it real quick again. Let's go A. 
again, clear outer. And let's just do it for these ones over here. So again, we'll just go A, draw a line straight or a little bit of an angle. We'll go clear inner. All right, last one. We're going to do one more time. A, bisect between the objects. And clear editor. And there we go. We now have a model that is cleaned up. And all we have to do is go File, Export, GLTF, save it to where we want. So we'll just save it back in this folder. So let's call this new. Let's call this new. And we will go export GLTF 2.0. Leave everything as it is. All right. And that's it. Once you go back to whatever program of choice that you want, just import that uh, GLTF, and this will be the result that you get. I mean, and obviously it's going to look fantastic in Worldcast, so there's no question about that. Uh, anyway, I'll be doing more tutorials on Blender for cleaning up models in different ways. Uh, for example, this was just a very basic introduction, uh, but we'll, we'll talk about optimizing the models even further to make them even more efficient by getting rid of extra meshes like inside here. That'll be in another tutorial. So again, thanks for watching and I can't wait to see what you create.